welcome to our channel in this session we will discuss type checking type expression and then type systems first we will move to type checking okay this type checking is an important activity in which phase semantic analysis phase we already know different phases in semantic analysis phase, this type checking is the most important activity. First of all, what is the need of type checking? The main need of type checking is to detect errors in the expression. So, expression contains different operands and perform different types of operations. In such type of expression to detect the errors, which type of errors? The errors that are occurred due to incompatible types. Incompatible types. That means incompatible operands. For example, an addition is performed between a string and a number. Generally, it is not possible. So, string is of type characters, number is of type numerical, it is not possible. So, such a type of errors are detected. And one more thing is, one more purpose of type checking is to generate intermediate code. To generate intermediate code for the expressions. And for the different types of statements, we already discussed different types of intermediate statements. Assignment statement, copy statement, array statements, pointer statements like that. Okay. So, for generation of intermediate code, this type checking is very, very important. Simply, this is my source program. What happened? The source program is given to the parser. Generally, what the parser do? This is the syntax analysis. So, the parser generates the parse tree. So, we already know the phases. Whenever the parse tree is generated, then the parse tree is sent to semantic analysis to find out the errors. So, simply here in the semantic analysis phase, we have the type checker. What the type checker do? It detects any errors or not. This is the semantic analysis phase. If there is no errors, again it generates the parse tree. We already know once the parse tree is generated, so the front end is completed. We are transfer the pass code that is parse tree into intermediate code generation, which is used to generate the intermediate code. Remaining part is the back end. So here what you have to know? This is the position of type checker. The type checker is placed at this position. At this position here, coming to this one, incompatible operands. Incompatible operands between different data types. Generally, we have two types of type, basic data types. Two types of data types. One is basic data type. Second one is constructed data types. We already know. Integer, float, care, all these are basic data types. What is mean by constructed data types? The data types that are constructed from the basic data types, arrays, structures, pointers, etc. are constructed data type. This is the concept of type checking. Next, we will move to type expression. Okay. My second point is type expression. So, what is mean by this type expression? Simply, I will write down the definition, the systematic way of the systematic way of expressing the type of language construct. What is meant by language construct? While if we into identifier, everything is called. That is the token that are used within a language is called language construct. Is called type expression. What is 
the systematic way of expressing the type of language construct is called type expression. Here I will write down what are the different types of type expressions. First one, the basic type. The basic type is called type expression. For example, what are the basic types? Int, float, care, double, so, etc. All these are, these are the basic data types. All the basic types are the type expression. Second one, while performing type checking, we are performing type checking, two basic types are needed. Remember, at the time of type checking, two basic types along with two basic types are needed. What are the two basic types? One is type error and the second one is void. These are these two basic data types that are needed for type checking, that are needed for type checking. So type error means it is used, the name specifies report the error, reporting of error that is during type checking. If any error occur, that error is represented by using this type error. Next, void indicates that there is no data type. That is simply null. If there is no type is associated with a statement or with an expression that is represented with void. So remember one point. So the basic data types are type expressions. For type checking, we are needing two basic data types along with the type name. Type name is also a type expression. Type name is also a type expression. For example, type def int some star x. Assume type def, we already know type def. We are defining a new data type. That means here, this is the statement. This statement defines the type name X. The type name X. This is a type expression. Generally, which is an integer pointer. Generally, it is an integer pointer. But here, by using type def, we are defining this one. So, this is also considered as a type expression. Now, the type constructs that means what i am explaining different types of type expressions the type constructors the type constructors is also a type expression so what are the different types of type constructors that is we are constructing a data type so what are the different types arrays some product cartesian products struct pointers, functions, all these are type constructors. All these type constructors are also a type expression. Now we will show one by one. First one, arrays. How do we represent in the form of type expression? Assume an array i comma t. An array i comma t. This is a type expression. This is a type expression here. What is mean by I? I is the index set. I is the index set. That is the indexes of the array. Indexes of the array. T specifies the data type of array elements. Data type of array elements. So, if this is the one. Now, how do we represent the type expression? The type expression is this one, array of i comma t. Array of i comma t, this is called a type expression. Suppose consider an example, int array of 20. Assume this is my integer array. How do you represent in the type expression? We are representing in the type expression as array of 0, 1, 2, and so on, 19. That means we have 20 elements starting from 0. All these 20 elements in. Now you got it? 
if this is a array in your program the type expression for the array is represented in this format represented in this format this is called type expression suppose the next one is the product product in the sense consider the cartesian product suppose t1 t2 here t1 t2 are the two data types t1 and t2 are the data types that is we are represented in this type expression format so this is the cartesian product generally this cartesian product is left associative so this is not at all important the main important things are arrays structures and then pointer so now i am moving into struct so whenever we are creating a structure the structure is defined by using the keyword type struct so the struct is also a type expression the struct is also a type expression simply the structure is applied to the structure is applied to product of the type of the member that is whatever present in the structure that is mal member the how we are defining the type expression product of the type of members of the structure the type of members of the structure for example struct some student assume care name of 10 one simple example float marks so i am creating a structure now create a structure variable struct student student of 10 so this is my structure now for this structure we are creating the type expression here the type name is what is the name of the type this is whatever the name of the structure that is called type name the type name is stued and the type expression is given as the name of the type struct here i am specifying the product so name whatever the name we have name which is of type array array of 0 1 and so on 9 which data type character data type which data type character data type this is one member this is one member into again write another member what is my another member marks which data type that is float data type okay now close this entire one you got how to write the type expression simply the product of the type members this is one member this is another member you are writing the product how each member is represented the name along with the particular type here the name is marks the type is float the name is marks the type is float here this is the type expression for this one suppose if you want to write the type expression for this one you know already what is the meaning array of 0 1 and so on 9 comma the name what is the name st this is the way to create the type expression for structure now the next one is create the type expression for pointers the type expression for pointers okay so here the pointer is represented the type expression is written as pointer of t so pointer of t this is the type expression of pointer okay for example int star a b c if this is my declaration how do we refine the type expression simply pointer of what data type int you got it that means t is the data type t is the data type if the statement is given the type expression is written in this format the next one is function so the next one is function so the type expression for function is defined as domain range is given by the domain range suppose domain tends to range assume you have a function into sum of 
int a comma int b. If this is my function, so the type expression is written as domain int. The domain is domain is two integer data types into int. This is the type expression. This is the type expression. Finally, the type expression is represented by using by using simple syntax tree or DAG directed acyclic graph. So, for example, into some example int a into b suppose float star c if this is my function how can we represent in the tree format into into that is for example the function whatever the logic first we are performing into into and then apply the pointer pointer of each data type flow data type finally assume the result is this one the return type is this one int. If you want to represent in DAG format into the return type is integer here pointer here the data type is so everywhere you are writing the data type here we have two integer variables we already know the DAG representation the DAG representation is instead of writing the same thing more than one time we repeatedly used it. This is called DAG representation. So, these are the different ways of type expressions. Okay. So, finally, type system. Simply, type system is a collection of rules. Collection of rules for assigning type expressions. So, for each and every language, we have to assign some type expressions. How do we assign the type expressions? That collection of rules is called type system. Constructs. So, here the type system is generally implemented by type checker. The type system is implemented by type checker. That what the type checker do? The type checker finds whether the types are the type checker finds whether the types are compatible to each other or not. For finding compatible to each other or not, but by finding their corresponding type expressions, their corresponding type expressions. This is the type system. Okay. Now, briefly, I will explain all the things. First of all, type checking. So, the type checking means simply the activity that is to be performed on the semantic analysis phase. So, the main purpose is detection of errors and then generation of intermediate code. At the time of detecting errors means the incompatible operands are checked. So, this is the position of type checker. Now, the next one is type expression. Here, the simple thing. Whenever a data type or a statement is given or a language construct is given, how do we represent that one? So, the systematic way of expressing the language construct is called type expression. For example, if it is a basic data type, how a basic data type is represented? So, the type expressions are into, flow to, caro, double, etc. These are type expressions. Around every basic types consists of two things for type checking. One is type error to store when any error occurred. Another one is white. That means the statement does not contain anything. Now, type name, it is also a type expression. That means once we are using the type def, so whatever we are creating, this is a type expression. Different types of type constructors. Constructors are arrays, func products, structures, Pointers, functions. We will discuss each and every one. Array. So, an array. Here, this is an array. How can we represent in the type expression format? This is the expression format. The array of the number of elements. That is index set. The data type of each element. This is called array type expression. Product. So, T1, T2 are two different data types. Simply the Cartesian product. The Cartesian product. 
Now coming to structure. A structure contains different members along with structure variables. Here we are creating the type expression for structure as the product of the type of members present in the structure. So struct of name along with name is of which data type array. Marks is of float data type and this is for the structure variable. Now pointers if this is the pointer we are representing the type expression as pointer of the data type pointer of data type if it is a function we are represented in the domain range format how do we represent domain in the sense input range is the output here two integers so integer integer output is also integer this is so finally the type expressions are represented by using tree format so what is my aim Consider two integers on, on floating. Finally, you have to return some output. So this is the final return. The return type is this one. Consider two integers and first to create one float pointer and comment this one. This is called domain. So you know the DAG representation. You have see two integers. Instead of writing two integers, you can represent in one integer format. Finally, type system. Simply we are assigning the type expressions for each and every language construct. What are the rules you have to follow? Simply the collection of rules are called type system. Collection of rules is called type systems. Generally, this is implemented by type checker. The purpose of type checker is to check whether the types are compatible or not for the given type expression. Thank you.